My colleague Maria is getting us more details on that big story joining us from Kiev right now. What is the situation there where Russia is relentless? But even what is more outstanding really and what stands out in all of this is the manner in which Maria Ukrainians have been absolutely defined saying that the question of giving up the strategic port city of Mariupol is absolutely not an option before them. Yeah, right. So Mariupol stands strong and uh, all the ultimatums which were uh, offered by Russians were rejected by the city administration and um, the uh, city chief uh, mentioned that any types of uh, laying down arms or um, giving in to Russia is not acceptable for the city because Mariupol is Ukraine and it will remain Ukraine. So uh, also for today the news are that there are nine uh, green corridors working. One of them is from Mariupol through Berdyansk to Zaporizhia Oblast. So they are um, confirmed by the Ukrainian Ministry of Occupied Territories, uh, of reintegration of occupied territories. So uh, this is uh, the supposedly uh, working uh, green corridors, but the threat uh, for the civilians who are coming to, um, who are trying to come out of the city is still very high because Russians do shoot at people who are trying to evacuate on their cars and um, um, the transport which is offered by the city council. So also the news from the south, not only in Mariupol the situation is tough, we see that Odessa is now also being targeted by Russians. And the latest news just of the recent half an hour is that Russians did um, shoot at the buildings in the city uh, center from the uh, sea. So from Russian ship, which came to the shores of Odessa, they tried to bomb the city. So um, no new details about what are the conditions of the city. So what were, was bombed exactly, but the reports of this shelling from the sea, from the military, uh, ship of Russians is uh, surfacing already. And back to Kyiv. So the news are that just uh, five minutes ago, the Kyiv mayor Vitaly Klitschko announced that we will have again a long curfew for two, for uh, one and a half uh, uh, of the day. So again, what is the main purpose of this curfew is to um, try to clear the city off of sabotage groups. So again, this curfew starts today in the evening at uh, eight o'clock p.m. and will finish. So in two days on 23rd of March in the morning. So again, we see the situation in Kyiv remains tough today in the morning. Uh, we have seen the devastating pictures of aftermath of attack on uh, Retroville shopping center, which is to the north of Kyiv. And it was bombed by Russian bombs uh, during the last night. So um, uh, all in all, the number of casualties is eight people died in this attack. So we see that Kyiv is still remaining the main target of Russians and they still are trying to uh, bomb the city to send the sabotage groups, infiltrate them inside the capital to make attacks on the city. And I have to say that this morning, I have heard the uh, shootings in the street happening in the city center, which is also something we hadn't been having for a long time uh, since the early days of war. So it is already the 26th day of war, already almost a month of attack. And we see that Russians are still trying to capture city of Kyiv. They are still attacking other cities, but no success in capturing cities, only uh, capturing or occupying some territories uh, along the border uh, with Ukraine. Yes, Maria, but you know, this is a war that we've been seeing that's going on for almost a month now, 26 days to be precise. By side by side, we also have diplomatic talks that are ongoing between Ukraine and Russia. Absolutely important at this time, this point in time, given the kind of uh, the manner in which the NATO countries have refused to really side by Ukraine in all of this in terms of action. Yes, uh, there have been instances of solidarity uh, and also we have the US president taking part in an important meeting of NATO countries in Europe. But what about real action that is missing and hence diplomatic talks, conversations between Ukraine and Russia become all the more important, isn't it? Yeah, it is becoming more and more important, but we still see that the Ukrainian side uh, has the list of demands which are not to compromise. So Ukraine won't go according to the demands of Russia and Russia still tries to uh, push uh, its demands. Uh, what we have heard, absolute nonsense coming from Kremlin, from uh, Putin 
So uh, these are not the points, not the demands Ukraine will ever uh, be ready to take. And still the situation with these talks, with these negotiations is really tough. So we see that they are to be continued, but uh, no progress so far. So nobody here among military um, experts, about political experts, do believe in these talks that they could be actually successful. And the second was most important even thing that uh, if uh, Ukraine and Russia come to some agreement, that Russia will uh, stick to it and will really take notice of it because all the uh, negotiation agreements with Russia never work. And this is proven by hundreds of years of history. Maria, thanks for getting us up to speed with those developments. Be safe and appreciate your joining us at this point in time. Maria is reporting from the capital city of Kiev.